good morning guys it is Arika Misha and it is a Saturday morning I am coming to you guys today with um, the girls love my favorite fried French toast yes I said that fried French toast hey don't knock it till you try it it's delicious just something I came up with I was like hey you know what you fry it, you know, normally I just fry it in the pan, you know, kind of flip it over, toss it, you know how everybody does it, grill it. I said, I wonder if I put a little oil in the pan, drop it in the oil, see what'll happen. Tried it one day, that's how I've been cooking my French toast ever since. Fried French toast. If you go to my Instagram, at Arika Misha, you will see I have previously posted my fried French toast. So if you guys want to sneak over there and see a peek of it. So I've done this before. This ain't nothing new, guys. So I decided to go ahead and just do a cooking video on it. So let's do it. Let's get into it, guys. Nothing fancy, nothing all you got to do all crazy. Simple. Only thing you guys need, you will need some cinnamon. And I just got the body of cinnamon. Nothing special. If you don't like cinnamon, don't use it. And I have some Publix powdered sugar. Gotta have powdered sugar on the French toast. And of course, some Publix grade A jumbo eggs. And you gotta have the right French toast bread. And I have here the brochet. I guess that's how they say it, but whatever. It's thick bread, y'all. Anyway, uh, artisanal. I like using this um, brand uh, by Sarah Lee. I really like using it when I do the fried French toast. Because it's thick, it's sturdy, it doesn't break apart when I, you know, when I put the eggs on it, it doesn't get all soggy and break apart. Very strong bread. And of course, you see, it's the thick bread, the French toast bread. So, that's another reason why I get this bread. Sara Lee, artisanal, and Publix had it on sale this week, guys. Bogo for $3.49, I think. Alright, guys, just wanted to let you know what the ingredients would be for this fried French toast. So, let's go ahead and get into it, guys. I'll be back. Let's get into it, fried French toast. Okay guys, I wanted to come back. Didn't want to forget to show you guys this important step um, as far as making the base for the French toast. So normally what I do, I just get a, a you know a nice little saucer uh, plate, something big enough to hold your eggs. And I'll normally just put a couple eggs down. Get them scrambled up here. Get your eggs all scrambled up. All right. And of course, you guys know I'm going to put a little bit of milk. Just a little bit, not a lot. Going to drop it in the center there. Just a little bit. Not a lot. And the reason why I always put milk in my eggs, it helps them fluff. Helps your eggs fluff. So this is going to help make our French toast, our fried French toast all nice and fluffy. So, got a little milk in the center. I'd say about two tablespoons of milk. Not too much. You don't want it watery. Then it's not going to work. It's not going to, you know, cook correct. So I'd say about two tablespoons of milk to your egg mix. Get it all nicely blended. All right. And that is our egg base. That's it. Just regular, regular eggs, a little bit of milk. That's all you got to do. Nothing fancy, nothing extra. And then, of course, we'll take our bread and we just flip flop our bread in our egg mix. Make sure your egg mix gets all over your bread. And then I'll show you guys. We're just going to drop it in the oil. I'll be right back to show you that, guys. Just wanted to make sure I showed you the egg base. It's nothing fancy. You don't want to put too many ingredients in your eggs. You don't want to put too many ingredients in your eggs because you're getting ready to drop it in grease. You're getting ready to fry it in oil. So you don't want to put too much stuff. So the base is just eggs and a little bit of milk. That's it. That's just the base. All right, guys. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I am back. And as you can see, I've got you right in the oil so you guys can see what we're ready to do.
And as you can see, got my toast here. Just rolling it around in the eggs. Rolling it around. And I'm just dropping it in my oil. Popping it around. Did you guys see? Just rolling my bread around, making sure you're getting that egg on all sides. All sides. And I'm dropping it in my oil. Dropping it in there. They gonna float. Pulling it around. Just dropping it in our oil. That's all we doing. That oil is still trying to get hot. Sorry, guys. Don't want to mess y'all up. Okay, y'all can still see. All right. See? I just didn't put a lot of oil. Didn't put a lot of oil. I put, like, you know, just to cover the bottom of the, of the pan. Just to cover the bottom. But enough. You see, they just fry. Make sure you guys see. Just like frying chicken. Just like frying chicken. Zoom y'all in so y'all can see. See, that's all it's going to do. It's just fry. Like I said, you see how much oil I got in there? You don't need a whole pan full of oil like you're frying chicken. I did just say that, but not really like you're frying chicken. You don't need that much oil. Just enough, you guys can see in the corner here. You can see in the corner here how much oil I have. Just enough to cover the bottom of your pan and a little bit, you know, just a little bit. It's going to fry up. going to fry on up. We're going to flip it over. Just give it a little bit more time to fry. You don't want to flip too early. Kind of look under there and see what's going on. Not quite ready yet. It don't take them long to fry either. Gotta let our grease get nice and hot. You know, it's the first batch, so. After that first batch, this will be nice and hot. And I normally just take my spatula and I just look underneath it. See how it's looking under there. Yep, you're all getting all nice and hot, getting all nice and fried in there. Did you guys see? That's all it's doing. And I have my stove at like a medium high heat. You don't want to do too much. You don't want to do too much. Okay, starting to brown. Starting to brown under there, looking good. Only takes them like maybe, don't take them long, guys. Ooh, looking good. Let's go ahead and flip them over. Be careful flipping them over. Look at that. Look at that. Just taking it, flipping it over. Be careful because this is oil. Get a little hot. Just gently flip them over. Take your spatula under there. I just kind of lean it over on my hand a little bit there. Or you can get another fork if you're too scared to do that. But hey, I've been cooking forever. So, see? That's it. That's it, guys. We're going to let that other side brown real good. And the other side should brown quickly. Cut my heat down a little bit. Cut my heat down a little bit. You guys see them? That's it. That's it, guys. You just let your other side get brown. And that's it. And, of course, I'll come back and show you guys 
Um, of course, I'll come back and show you guys. Let, let me see. Let me get these finished first. I want you guys to see the finishing results first. See, and that other side gets done real fast. It won't take long. It's like you're frying eggs. Other side looks good. Everything looks good. See, that other side fries real fast. It gets done real fast, guys. And you just move it on over, take it on out. It don't take long. Take long for them to cook. You don't want to overcook or make them all hard. All right. I saw oil. See how much oil I got in there? Ain't really got that much oil. I got enough, you know, enough to cover the bottom of your pan. And let's go over to that French toast. Look at it. Looks amazing. Looks delicious. Looks delicious. Uh oh, sorry guys. <laughs> Alright, let me zoom in. Zoom in for y'all. Look at that. Nice golden brown French toast. Let's see here. Some egg. That's just a fried egg. Flip it over, show y'all the other side. Look at that. Nice golden brown French toast. Fried French toast. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Fried French toast is so good. It's so good. I'm telling y'all, it's so good. It is amazing. Let me zoom y'all out. Zoom y'all out so y'all can look at that French toast. It's amazing. Fried French toast, y'all. See if I can. It's hot. Let's see if I can bring it in for y'all. Look at that. Fried French toast. All right. So. We got that first batch done. We'll let these sit over here and cool off, guys. And I will go ahead and get the next batch done. I'll be back, guys. Okay, guys, I am back. And as you can see, I've pretty much got all my French toast done. These are my last two pieces I am taking out. I've got my stove cut off already. Make sure these are nice and brown on that other side. Not quite yet. This one's done. Let's go ahead and take that one out. Add it to the group. Be careful. Nice and hot. Woo! Alright, let's see what you're doing when you're ready to come out. Alright. Okay. It's ready. And that is our final fried French toast piece. Got my stove off. Let me bring you guys over to the French toast. Bring you guys down. Bear me one second, guys. I can get you down here so you guys can see what's going on. Uh -oh. Okay, guys. Give me a second. Get you where you need to be. Ooh-wee! So you can see that delicious fried French toast. Let me see. Get y'all where y'all need to be to see. Mm, 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 mm. Get y'all where y'all need to be to see. Mm, 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 mm. See if I can bring it in for y'all. So y'all can get a real good look at it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that fried French toast. And I tell you, it's amazing. It is amazing. Fried French toast. Toast. Ooh, wee. Delicious. Ooh, look at that piece. Look at that piece. Hey, girl. Hey, look at it. Delicious. Da, da, delicious, guys. Look at that. That one's still trying to fry. That's the one I just took out. Ooh, wee. You can stop frying now. You out. Nice and hot. Ooh, wee. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. We got fried French toast. Look, 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 look. Ooh, let me cut this fan off. Hold on, y'all. Cut that fan off. Ooh, wee. Get that fried French toast. 
Okay, we ain't done yet. Hold on. All right, so got the French toast sitting over there. Let y'all see what I'm finna do to it. Let me zoom in, so make sure y'all see. All right, let's get our cinnamon. Got our cinnamon. Sprinkle our cinnamon on it. Yes. Y'all know I got French toast under there, so I gotta lift it up, move it around. Ooh, wee. That French toast. You know what? I'm gonna get another plate. Hold on, y'all. I'll stay right there. Let me get another plate. Another plate now. Because we running out of room over here. We is running out of room. Okay. Let me get another plate so I can get this French toast coated properly. Everybody going to get their cinnamon. Alright, we already got cinnamon on these. Okay. Got the cinnamon on those. Ooh wee. Cinnamon on those, okay. Let's get cinnamon on the ones on the bottom. Make sure y'all can see. Bring y'all out some. Hold on. Make sure y'all see all the French toast. Look at all the French toast. Putting cinnamon on these guys, because they ain't got none yet. Let's get them some cinnamon. They got their cinnamon men. All right. Now we gotta get that powdered sugar. We gotta get the powdered sugar. This is the star of the show. The powdered sugar is the star of the show. All right, and what I do, I take a fork. I take a fork. That's how I do it. Take a fork, I scoop some up. And see, ooh, whoa. I ain't editing that out, y'all know I ain't. You just, it ain't that serious. All right, and you just sprinkle a little. And see, I kind of let it shift through the little fork holes, you know? Just kind of shift through. And it kind of gives it a little little extra there, but that's all right. Ain't nothing but powdered sugar. Ooh-wee. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Y'all look at that fried French toast. Look at it. Amazing. Looks so good with our cinnamon. Mm -mm -mm. See? See ya? Mm-hmm. With that syrup you're gonna put on it, what? And you know what? Sometimes I just eat it like this. Just eat it like that. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Look at that. Look at the fried French toast. Look at it. I'm gonna take y'all in. Look. Ooh, wee. Look at that fried French toast. Look at it. Ooh, wee. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Fried French toast with cinnamon and powdered sugar. Y'all can't beat that. I don't care. Y'all can't beat that. And it's delicious. It's so good. Okay, y'all. Y'all know y'all gotta try it. It's quick and easy. It can take me about like 10 minutes to cook all the French toast. Because the French toast don't take that long. Like maybe like a minute on one side. You flip it over. Make sure your oil's hot. Flip it over to the other side. And that's it. That's it. That's all. Look at that. Fried French toast. Y'all ain't ready. Okay, guys. That is it for breakfast. Fried French toast. You guys can put what you want with it. Fruits. Whatever you want to do. Um, Y'all know I got my camera out frappe over here. So, make sure y'all don't want to watch that video. That video is doing great. Over 600 views on how I make my camera out frappe. Make sure y'all go check that out. Once again, this is Arika Misha. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media. And, of course, guys, remember, knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.